Egypt is working hard to lure investments back to the country. Foreign investments have dropped by 90 percent since 2011. One setback is the judicial system. It's slow and powerless, coupled with the complicated regulations and red tape. So here comes the building the relationship and introducing the Egyptian investment opportunities to the Far Eastern investors from private perspective will be something of great edge to Egypt if we can and we should remove our red tape, tapes from the economy and we, we, we also manage our challenge of bureaucracy and challenge of procedures. Egyptian President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi said this week the government has settled 300 disputes with foreign investors and there are many more still outstanding. A massive amount of disputes that reflect the insecurity facing investors here. This is a very fundamental issue that the policymaker should accelerate the decision-making process. We need to improve the investment climate further. We need to send a very strong signal to investors, not only the foreign investors, but also the domestic investors, that the government is committed to further reform. They have a very clear macroeconomic plans. There is harmonization between physical and monetary policy. Recently, specialized economic courts were established. The government also formed a committee that includes six ministers and prime minister to resolve investor disputes. The aim is to restore confidence in the Egyptian market. Taken as a model, new investment law has been issued and facilities given to investors in the Suez Canal zone. The current legal framework as the zone and makes uh, the projects financeable, bankable, no impediments whatsoever uh, to the international practice and financing uh, to uh, take uh, place. Egypt has signed contracts worth $33 billion with foreign businessmen this year and is planning to attract billions more. But all this cannot be materialized unless the climate is conducive enough for investors to bring in their money. Experts say the Suez Canal project and the incentives given to the foreign oil and gas companies in Egypt could serve as a model. If implemented in all sectors, it could lead to a major overhaul of the Egyptian economy. Yasser Hakim for CCTV, Cairo.